Okay, so welcome to Joana de Angelis Spiritual Society. My name is Ricardo. Um, the study of the night is meditation to conquer inner peace. Um, I would like to suggest for us uh, this learning goal is to help us to connect to our inner sun that irradiates love and light and wisdom all the time so we can connect to it and feel this love to help us to connect to our existential purpose and then because of that to develop the sense of inner peace does it sound like a good goal for us we'll go like this okay. so this is how i plan to cover uh, this goal we're going to um we're going to view a perspective of spiritism in terms of what is meditation, why should we do it, and also how to do it with the help of uh, some global knowledge in terms of meditation, not specific to spiritism, but brought to spiritist knowledge. And then we're going to practice. Ricardo, just one minute. I don't want to interrupt. But can you get closer to the microphone? I cannot hear you very well. I don't know why, but... Okay. Maybe I can put a headphone on. Okay, can you hear me better now? Okay. So, this, okay, so this is the structure. Uh, what is meditation to conquer inner peace according to spiritism why we should do it um, how we can do it we're going to see some tools and then practice at the end and before going to what and why i just want to do a quick recap of 2020's uh, goal for john and spiritual society our monday lectures um the theme of the month is spiritists love one another this is the first teaching educate yourself this is the second we started the first block uh, we have talked about Jesus. He's our master and guide for our inner peace, for our happiness. And he made a promise to send a consoler that we believe is spiritism to help us remember his teachings and understand it deeper, reveal new things. And then we talk about spiritism came right in the time of the beginning of the planetary transition, as we believe that we are going on right now from Charles' expiations into world of regeneration and we saw how our world is very developed in technology and science um, but we have many issues like the global pandemic that we are living in right now uh, the coronavirus novel coronavirus here we are all at home right now in California in other places in the country in the world and other issues like invisible pandemic of depression and the solution to find uh, our inner purpose, our existential purpose to live the life as immortal, immortal beings as we are. And the example here of, of uh, regeneration, Mary of Magdalene. And then we have entered and we, to the, tonight the last um, lecture on this topic, existential purpose, to help us understand where does our light fit in the uh, universe and what does the elements of our life means to us are in is mortal spirits um when we uh, we wake up for this perspective as we are more immortal spirits living a physical life then we are like lazarus that wakes up uh and is resurrected is resurrected by jesus and this is the same thing that happens inside of us so our inner son awakens and we can feel the this radiation so what is meditation if you look for this um this question online in research there is a lot of things uh, there are buddhist perspectives zen yoga hinduist and a lot of spiritualist um, philosophies and doctrines and it's there is no like a single definition a perfect one but we're going to use one that's more according to spiritism so joanna jianj is a spirit superior spirit of the doctrine um she has a book momentos of meditation that andresa read in the beginning in the first chapter she says 
Meditation is an interiorization practice. So this is the first thing. Meditate is an action. So when we put ourselves in the state or in the exercise of meditation, we are taking action with our lives. And interiorization, it doesn't mean looking to our blood cells or lungs, but it means looking to our inner world. And in this world, we are, we are the master of this world. We are the captain of our souls. So meditation is an exercise where we connect to our inner world. And ideally, we would connect to our essence, connect to who we really are, um, our permanent essence. Let's not say permanent essence, but um, our permanent state. We are children of God. We are immortal spirits living on temporary existence. Uh, it's also an effective means of disciplining the will. So we have free will. It's a gift from God. We all, spirits, intelligence beings of the universe, we have our will. And through meditation, we practice disciplining our will. And it's a very effective means to do that, as Joanna says. So we can exert patience, to overcome our inferior tendencies. So this is very interesting because when we look at the other definitions of the world of meditation, um, there are some similarities with this one, but they not always talk about this part of overcoming our inferior tendencies. And so if we are in a world of trials and expiations, we have those inferior tendencies that impacts our lives and create troubles for others and first for us so we have our sufferings and spiritist shows that most of our sufferings comes from our own creation from the present or from the past with the exception of missionary spirits that may not need the suffering but they choose to they choose to in a mission to help someone or help hum humankind so if the suffering starts within me I can use meditation as effective mean to discover the root cause for these sufferings and then prevent it. So this is an important distinction, uh, or at least a characteristic of meditation according to the spiritist field. And this is from the book Moments Meditação. Joana de Angelis talks about it in many of her books. And then we go to why should we meditate? Well, we already said some reasons, right? Um, it helps to find personal fulfillment, so to fulfill our goals it can be spiritual goals material goals um, health goals um, professional goals to calm emotions and clarify discernment so i did a mini survey uh, on saturday and sunday and thank you everybody uh, most of you replied and many people said that they felt calmer after doing meditation some do it very frequent frequent some say they wish they would do it more frequent so hopefully after this study, you will feel motivated to give yourself the time to do it more often. Um, and this is a result of the survey, this group. Uh, most people said they felt calmer. I think everybody. Um, and to improve morally. So this is a very important uh, goal for us because as immortal spirits, uh, we have this destiny of improving morally to our, towards perfection and relative perfection. So meditation is another means to help us on that goal. To connect to Jesus Christ's thought. So as we said, Jesus is the model and guide for humankind. Uh, he's the model for our inner peace. He's the model for our happiness. And so through meditation, we can connect to his thought through the learnings that we have acquired in the past. For example, we may have lived at his time. We may have heard his stories read, studied the Bible, studied the gospel, or spiritist books, lectures online. The whole, our whole existence is connected to his teachings and also to the other uh, mentors of humankind. Uh, in spiritism, we know that Jesus is the governor, governor of our planet. Um, so the other superior spirits that came here and even founded religions, they are messengers of God. And for us, we understand they are also messengers of Jesus. So 
whatever means that we have acquired knowledge of the divine law, we are connected through Jesus' thought. So meditation helps us to discover divine law within our conscience. And then the ultimate, which is the goal of all of us, is to find and to conquer inner peace. It's a work. It's not a static place, but it's a work. And we can already feel that peace as we are doing this exercise. Um, as we said, connecting to Jesus, Jesus' thoughts. So even in the Bible, we have many passages that can lead us to understand the recommendation for us to meditate. Like this one in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus says, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So I'm going to ask a question for you just to answer in your mind. Um, is this quiet place a specific physical place? That Jesus was talking about? Throughout the years and the centuries, many of us believed so. And we went to monasteries or we went to um, retreats thinking that that was the way to get the rest for the soul. But in the Spiritist view, and the view that we are invited to, to, to understand his words of eternal life, words of eternal life, he was also talking about the quiet place inside of us, in our inner sanctuary. And then we connect to him, to his teachings, and we get the rest from our sufferings because his teachings give us the guidance on how to avoid these sufferings and how to act to bring ourselves happiness by being connection with God. So Spirit Emmanuel, another elevated spirit of the doctrine, says in the book Our Daily Bread, uh, in the sacred temple of the soul, Jesus Christ awaits us in order to reinvigorate our exhaustive strength. So, same idea that we can and should meditate, connect to his teachings, connect to the divine law inside of us, and then we can find the relief from our sufferings, at least the one that are under our control. How about Alain Kardec? So, in the Spirit's book, um, knowledge of the natural law, part three or book three, right in the first chapter, first chapter, Alain Kardec asks questions about the spirits in terms of the guide for humankind. And it says that we carry God's law in our consciences. All the men and women, so all of us, incarnated and discarnated, who have meditated about wisdom have been able to understand it. So when we meditate upon the divine law, which is already written in our consciences, then we can understand it better and live better lives. So we talk about what and why, and now let's uh, talk about how. So how can we meditate? Um, I brought from this book, Meditation for Dummies, uh, this author, Steph Stephen Bodian. He's also a co-author of Buddhism for Dummies. It's a spiritualist author. He's, uh, he's He claims in his website, he's a uh, psychotherapist, um, author, uh, s does seminars, coaching. And he says in his book, the journey of meditation with, begins with cultivating awareness or attention. This is very similar to Joanna G. Angeli's approach, where she says we are using meditation to discipline our will. And we can understand in a certain way our, our will, at least the capacity that I can understand, one dimension of our will is our awareness, our attention. What are we paying attention to right now? Is it the temperature of my skin? Is it the, the voice that I'm listening to? Is it my inner voice, the images, uh, the meaning of these images to me, the meaning of these experiences? And so meditation journey starts and continues with developing and cultivating awareness. And so he, he suggests four categories of meditations based on his research and I decided to present them here with element of, element of nature because the spirit says that divine law is within nature and based on my reading I, I under, understood there is some kind of connection between uh, these categories of meditation in terms of time so I'm going to present to you uh, and I'm going to talk about them right after so first one is building concentration and then opening to receptive awareness Cultivating states of mind and using contemplation for greater insight. So, 
building concentration, I put it here in the root because it's the most basic type of meditation. It's the base for all the others. We need to develop the skill of concentrating our thoughts. Depending on your profession, you have already developed this skill earlier stage, like in college, at work. And if you have started to practice meditation, you already have this skill also developed. And it is a skill we should continue to develop um, for the rest of the times, uh, even beyond our lives. Um, usually, and I saw many people who replied to the survey, building concentration starts by pay attention to our breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. And that's a very easy way to develop that type of um, mental skill because as we are alive, we are breathing. So as we are breathing, we can concentrate on that movement. We can concentrate on the sensation that's happening and that helps to go to our inner world and disconnect from all the other distractions. And then the next, next one, it's another category of meditation. Um, all the categories on top, they depend on building concentration. So if you're starting now, you might want to start by developing the building concentration skills. Next one is opening to receptive awareness. So an important distinction between those two, concentration and receptive awareness, is the first one is an active action. So I am choosing what to fo focus on at a given time. Second one is more passive. So I am on my inner experience and I open myself to perceive that experience. So for example, if I was doing the breathing exercise in the building concentration part, uh, in the same meditation exercise, I might get to a point that um, I want to perceive, is my body trying to communicate with me? So if we can speak in, this, in terms of metaphor, and then we can perceive maybe my uh, finger of mine starts to itch. And then I can make a mental note on that and perhaps even investigate, so why did that happen? Um, and it could be a way to communicate that something is not right inside of me, inside of my inner world. There is a lack of balance. Those two parts uh, can be more like a mechanic, those two categories of meditation. And the top two, which I put in yellow, are more meaningful. So I, I connect those two categories on top as more related to the meditation as for a spiritist view. Um, so I put in branches in the tree because we could go to one side or to the other. There is not necessarily a specific order. And we can also go around, like, you know, like some trees, they go like this. So that is possible too. So cultivating states of mind is also another active skill. Um, I, I have seen in the past uh, some movies that are related to uh, awareness and mental development uh, and mental skills. Like um, I have seen, I, I think it was The Secret and there's another one, I forgot, We Are All One, I don't remember the name. Uh, but they show uh, some people who were uh, looking to heal from cancer. Uh, besides going through the medical um, technologies to help them to heal. They were also practicing meditation, that specific type of meditation, to cultivate the state of healing. And that is, as per spiritism, we have our passi, we're going to have our passi today, so we understand perhaps um, the mechanics of this exercise. And many people have healed uh, through also practicing this type of cultivation. It can also be cultivating a skill. I think one of these other movies shows like a research they did with um, basketball players practicing on a court, throwing the ball, some of them not practicing at all, another group practicing only in their mind. And both the ones who are practicing their mind or in the physical world had very good results compared to the other who didn't practice. I have done this kind of meditations, a variety of them from my life, and it's very interesting how it works. Um, and Joanna Jange is in the book um, Self Discovery, An Inner Search. She 
she talks about it right on some of the first chapters how we can talk to our cells because we are the master of our soul so we are the, our inner son we can talk to them mentally through meditation with love and care to give direct orders for them to heal for them to find harmony and the same thing she says we can do with our moral imperfections talk to them with love and acceptance without judgment without condemnation or justification just paying attention to to them and to show them that we recognize they exist and guide them to transform into moral perfections into virtues finally the last one using contemplation for greater insight we can can also be done uh, with the with the other ones um, we can see as perhaps two two different dimensions one is developing understanding so understanding is when we look inside our inner world and we we seek to understand what is happening to us why is that happening what is inside of me that created that problem that i'm going through and the other part is the insight is when we use our creativity to find solutions for those problems um dr alirio cerqueira de filho alirio de cerqueira filho um, also a spiritist speaker he talks about how we can ask to ourselves to our conscience are we breaking a specific divine law which are the divine laws applied to this context of this specific specific problem and we listen to the answers and then we meditate upon the meaning for them in our lives of actions we can take we can make decisions and so we can go back to cultivate um, if the answer is to develop forgiveness for somebody or for God or for life or forgiveness to ourselves then we can cultivate that state of mind maybe we cultivate the state of gratitude so we can see that all these categories they are interconnected um, so i brought here this this week oh yeah let's just go back for one second so the last thing i wanted to say is that in spiritist field we uh spirit's book says that we all have our guardian angel or mentor spirit or um a spiritual guide and so when we are Start seeking for greater insight. Um, we could ask them questions, ask them for help, and then we are connecting to um, our mediumship because the, in the spirit book, Alan Kardec says that we are all mediums. Um, many of us don't have, um, let's say, a just a second, okay reminder of the time um we may not see or hear spirits but we can co receive their communication through our thoughts all of us can do that and with more practice we can develop a discernment to understand which thoughts are ours or aren't and Emmanuel says that many of our thoughts aren't ours so that's an opportunity for us to combine meditation with prayer i think i almost do that ask for help and when I do it with sincere faith and humbleness, I get the help right then. There's no need to wait. So recommend everybody to practice the same. And so here, I wanted to, uh, I was inspired this week to bring this metaphor of the sun. Um, so we think that um, for our current mental skills, it's hard to, to, to vision a spirit because the spirit doesn't have a shape. If we may think in terms of a uh, a person's face, and that's the prayer spirit, the spiritual body. Um, so we could use this metaphor to see ourselves as we are stars, but not just any stars. We are suns. Sun constantly irradiates light and heat, energy out of it, and this energy is spread towards a local system. In our case, our sun, we have the solar system. All the planets orbiting around the sun, including us in Earth. And 
sun also has an existential purpose. As for example, uh, in Earth, we, we depend on the gravity from the sun to keep the balance that we have on our planets right now, the movements, translation, rotation, and we depend on the exact distance from the sun to receive the heat sufficient enough to have um, frozen water, regular water, and vapor, and for many other reasons. So life as we know on Earth only exists because of the sun and because of the current distance we have from the sun and other factors too, uh, just physically speaking. So because we don't believe in chance, all of these small components of the greater system were created by God uh, with a purpose. So the sun has a purpose. And we can bring this to our meditation that we are constantly irradiating light and love. So why does this true doesn't seem to be true sometimes? It's because of our ignorance shadows this light. And the clouds of our selfishness block this inner light. So it might seem like we are dark or we are behaving in a dark way. Uh, but that's temporary. And our work with meditation should be to connect to this light and to realize that we are made of love. We are love. And when we truly connect to this truth, we make changes and the changes, they might not be that hard. They're just natural because it's part of our nature. And through this exercise, we realize that um, as spirits, we are the center of our local system. And so... Our body is just an orbit of this system. We exist before and after our bodies. And we realize we have a purpose because the body has a purpose for us. So the, bar the body is to serve our existence. And so we have the purpose to take care of our body. So that gives us the, the right motivation and direction to seek for health um, because we understand the purpose of health. And this is an exercise of loving ourselves. And the same applied to the other orbits, to our families, to our work, to our uh, voluntary work, and most importantly, to the inner work. Uh, through meditation, we can connect to this light that we are, and then we can transform our imperfections, removing the clouds. And finding the purpose for our ex existence could be seen as discovering what is the main blocker for my happiness inside of me what is the thing that makes me suffer the most and as i ask this question to myself to my conscience then the answer is attached to it so if it is impatience the answer is to develop patience if i'm a um, accuser then i have to learn to forgive myself to tolerate myself because if i accuse others i'm also accusing myself and those are just an examples so we talk about that meditation, according to the Spiritist view, is an act of interiorization, where we discipline our will and we develop patience to overcome our lower tendencies. And we do that for achieving calmness, discernment, happiness, connection with Jesus' thoughts. And we looked at how we can do it through our, through our many practices. Um, relating to focusing our concentration. Uh, we can use visualizations too that helps. Many people said they do visualization already. Many people said they do guided meditations. There are some videos by Givaldo Franco, Haroldo Dutra Dias, people mentioned they use, and others. Um, also courses online you, you may want to search for. And they have these different categories, but it's important to develop the different levels of awareness, like concentration, receptive awareness, and most importantly, to connect to our essence, uh, to ask important questions, to listen to the answers, to ask for help, and to develop and cultivate virtues, including healing. So now we're going to do a, an exercise. So my timer here, I have five minutes left. So we're going to use these five minutes to practice meditation. So our exercise is going to have a little bit of each of these characteristics that we mentioned previously. Uh, we're going to start concentration with uh, breathing. We're going to develop a receptive awareness, uh, choose a state of mind to cultivate, and ask questions to our conscious. And I would suggest that we all focus on the question that I mentioned earlier. Um, what is the most important problem 
that is blocking me from being happy inner problem what is the what is the the lower tendency i need to overcome and then discover that i already have the seeds for the virtue that would overcome this this lower tendency inside of me okay so when we do this exercise it's not time to do active mediumship so remember you are the center of your soul if you're in doubt keep your eyes open we don't have an audio here it's just the waterfall but i'm pretty sure all of you can hear the sounds of a waterfall of this waterfall in your minds um, so please make sure you are in a comfortable comfortable position in your chair or your couch or where you're sitting at um, don't do it if you're driving or operating machinery and just focus on your breathing breathe in and breathe out breathe in let the air go all the way to your stomach and breathe out as you're breathing you may start to feel your body relaxing even more and in your mind you can transport yourself into a place of calmness of peace You are now at a safe place. You feel protected. You may explore this experience. Look at your surroundings. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you hear? And as doing this lecture tonight, you have connecting, connected these teachings towards your own wisdom. What is inside of you that needs to be improved for the sake of your own happiness? Be kind to the answer. without any judgment or justification. Accept yourself. And now you can connect to your inner sun that irradiates love, light, wisdom all the time and talk to your imperfection remember master jesus with him men and women rise from darkness to light From idleness to service. From ignorance to wisdom. From instinct to reason. From selfish to fraternity. So you may go back now to our virtual room, relaxed, bringing the learnings for the night. Is everybody okay?
Make sure you open your eyes right now. I can see one person saying yes to me. I cannot see the other people. Thank you, everybody. So we talked about meditation to conquer inner peace according to Spiritist Bill. It is an interiorization exercise. And it is done to develop our inner reform. We can discover many ways of doing it. We cannot really describe and explain in a small 35 minutes lecture. But we did a small practice. Uh, is everybody feeling all right? 